Okay guys, today I'm going to show you, explain and show you um, there's a big fault with the, the uh, Volkswagen uh, 2.0 turbo engine uh, C C T T C C A. Um, it's a 2.0 turbo with the timing chain, not the one with the timing belt. There's two different motors. Um, <clears throat> I, I got to research how many what years, maybe 2008 to 2014. I'm not sure. I got to research that. I'll put that in the description. But uh, what happens is the timing tensioner, amongst other things, fails and bends the valves. Like in this case, on this vehicle, let me put the light on. Everyone hit, everyone hit the piston. They're all bent, all 16 valves. All right, let me just show you over here. All right, you can clearly see hit here, hit here, and hit up there, over here, and then down in there too. All, I mean, it didn't, it didn't um, break the piston, which is good because now the bottom end is okay. But I'll still check, I'll still check, make sure um, there's no cracks anywhere. And but the 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 culprit is basically the timing chain tensioner, this one. Now, if you have this type of vehicle, uh, this could be in the EOS, it could be in the Jetta, it could be in the Passat, it could be in the Tiguan, which this is. Um, the easiest way to check, I mean, if your engine is running and you just want, because this is a, this is a time bomb waiting to blow. Um, the best way is this is gonna be the timing cover, okay? This is gonna be on the front of the engine. Well, here. Yeah to get you an idea all right there's your reservoir right there it's going to be over here but it's going to be uh, down there all right the um crank pulley is going to be here and there's going to be a little inspection plate this little plate it's metal with rubber what you're going to do is you're going to pry that out you have to get to it so may have, maybe you have to take the mount out but it's not too hard you may have to look in there with a um a mechanics light, you know, a mirror, I mean, you know, that bends down. And when you take this off, it's going to expose. It's going to expose. Let me show you what it's going to look like. It's going to look like this. Now, if you see, if you see in the hole, this collar, let me just take it away again. This type with the collar on it, all right, that's a, that, like I said, it, 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 it could, um, it, this thing can go on you any minute. And what this is, let me show you. Okay, this little collar, you take it off, and the little culprit is right here. See all these gears? There's this, this little spring, this little clip, holds this little, this little, um, it's like a little uh, teeth in here. Okay, I'm just showing you. You see, you see the strip teeth, the strip teeth over here on this side. That's all it needs is those little strip teeth, and the whole thing fails. And now, when the car is off, or you know, it, it, it slides in and out. Uh, even with the, it's supposed to stay. It's not supposed to slide out. Once it gets set, it's supposed to stay at that particular, you know, setting, and then the oil pressure takes care of it. But if 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 when they shut the car off, and you go to start it up, this may move in a little bit when it's not supposed to, and that's how it jumps timing. Or worse than that, it can just you know, if, if it's stripped really bad, it'll just fail as the engine's running, like in this case, and. It destroys the engine so if you look in that inspection hole and you see this type I don't have the new type I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna put a, a photo or yeah I'll put a photo when I get it I didn't get it yet the new type is completely different it does not have a collar it's an updated design and you should be good to go when you once you have that one all right so like I said it's, a, it's not easy to look at but <laughs> it's worth the effort to get a, get a, a light in it. Just let me show you. Use this 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 type of tool. 
you know, you get down there and you look inside the inspection hole. Like I said, it's a little plug that comes out. You get it out with a screwdriver. And then when you're done with it, you clean it all up on both sides. Put a little bit of a gasket sealer and you hit it back in again. But like I said, if you see this type in there, the other one is completely different. It doesn't have a ring. It looks like just a piece of aluminum straight. It's a little bit different in design and it doesn't have this collar. You see this collar? No good. All right, you're just looking for trouble. You don't want to fix it. You might as well just sell the car because it's going to blow. I had them blow as early as 60,000 miles. 120 is the highest and everything in between. And it's all the same, same reason. And it's a big job to do. Volkswagen's are good cars. I mean, and they're very complicated to take apart because they're, they're really, really built well. And this car has the turbo that you have to deal with, uh, a lot of brackets, um, a lot of um, wire harness plugs. Uh, it just takes time to take it out. So if, if you're going to have a mechanic do it, he's going to charge you a lot of money, you know, for that reason. And, um, you know, and that's the deal with this. So... I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like the video, subscribe. I'm doing more work on this car and all the little things that I can do. I'm going to, you know, make videos on them. And we'll take it from there. Motor Car Nut 2020. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.